In this video, I'm going to show you how you can place Excel data in the exact location that you like in an Outlook, Outlook email body. And so here we have um, our list of emails that we're going to send it to. And on sheet two, I have um, some data here. Now, uh, I have put the color on the Excel sheet and I have uh, put the borders on with the, with the borders function here so that this way the, the borders will show up on your body. Now, if I uh, click my send button, which will call out my macro, then you will get some emails. And here we go. So here we have, um, here we have our data. And then we have a bunch of stuff be below that. And below that, we have my signature on the email. So the biggest problem with sending data on, um, on your email body is that it always ends up being below your signature at the end. So I have figured out how you can get exactly where you want it in the email. And so let me show you how I did this. So I have, I've got my, um, my template for my Outlook email stay saved on, my, on a folder on my Outlook desktop. And so let's open it up. And so now you know that you would like to put in the table right in here. Now, you need to know how many characters it is from the beginning of your message to where you'd like to put in the, uh, the table. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy from here until there, and then I'm going to go to Word and I'm going to paste it in a Word file. Uh, in a Word file, there is a handy little tool called Word Count on, um, on the Review tab. And if you can see, it tells you that there's um, uh, characters, there's 161 with spaces. So that's including all the spaces all the way down to the end here. And so the other thing I'm going to do is that um, in addition to what we've done there, I've put in additional spaces in between there. I don't have the, uh, I have spaces in between where, where the, the data is going to go before and after it. And that's just to allow for the different sizes of names because it's going to shift the, the text um, around, your, uh, around your table here. And so let's go to the code for a second. So here's my code, and most of it looks very much the same. Um, I have uh, the last row specified as the end row so that I get all of my table on the second sheet. Um, and here's my normal setup, the email. I'm creating it from a template, which I went over um, in a previous video. I can show you. I will put a link in my video to the previous one for creating um, an Outlook email from a template. And now um, what I've done is I've put in my path. Now, um, so the customer name is from the sheet one, the subject is from the sheet number, and the sheet one, and the email address is from the sheet one. Now on here, because we're using a template, what we're doing is um, we're looking for um, the placeholder for the name. And if we go back to our template, I have hello placeholder for the name. So it's looking to replace whatever the customer name is here with we're putting in the spot where it says placeholder for the name. So, so when it finds a placeholder for the name, then it's going to do that. And then it's going to call up two inspectors. It's calling the Outlook mail inspector, then it's calling the page word editor inspector. And now I'm going to sheet two where my table is. I'm selecting from cells one, one to last row. So I get all of it and I'm copying. And then um, now page editor application select and start. This is where we count. Remember the 161 characters that we wanted um, from, the, from the, our word count on, on word. And so this is how you put exactly where you want the, edit, the, the table to appear. And then page editor, page editor selection start, and page editor paste format word. Um, 
And then I'm going to cut, turn, turn off the copy mode so that you don't have the marching ants around your data. And then I'm going to clear out all my fields so that you can go to the next one. And then I have a loop. And then when we're, we're done our loop, then I'm changing Outlook to nothing, Outlook Mail to nothing, Word Doc to nothing, and Range Notebook to nothing. I will, of course, include um, this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.